Hey guys, this is Dbrow. Um, I normally do product reviews, but seeing as my most popular video is a quick how-to on how to put Netflix on a Samsung Galaxy Tab, and people seem to really like that, I'm going to do kind of another how-to slash review on a piece of software that I've absolutely fallen in love with. Um, so what this piece of software is going to do is it's essentially going to let you set up your computer that you always have on, um, ideally a desktop or a laptop that never leaves and things like that, um, as a server of sorts so you can stream to places like your Roku box or your tablet or your iPad, iPhone, other computer, whatever you want. It's a great way to do it and they have some really neat features. So the name of this product is called Plex Media App and www.plexapp.com and it comes up right here and you're just going to need to go right here to downloads and download Plex for Mac, for Windows, whatever and you're going to see a couple of options obviously you're going to want to set up the server um, I already have mine set up so I'm not going to download it and install it, doesn't take long um, but we'll get into the media center a little bit later so once you have it installed it's going to appear down in your kind of notifications tray right here and that's what it looks like little icon and what you're going to do is you're going to right click it and you're going to hit media manager now it's going to open up a web page um, in your default web browser mine happens to be chrome um, that's just what i prefer and from here it's going to allow you to upload movies and stuff and right here you're going to see add media to your library and if you have a folder set up for movies or a folder set up for TV shows, you can set them up individually like that. Um, as you can see here, I've got a bunch already uploaded. Um, I might take a second to load because I have quite a few. And if you look, you can see how it's all the names are correct, all the dates are correct, all the cover art's correct. And it automatically did that, whether it's a pirated copy, whether it's a ripped DVD, whatever. The metadata is automatically added, which is one of my favorite features of it. Um, so that's just kind of a little bit on how to do that. Um, if you have any more questions, post in the... Um, in the comments thing with specific questions I'll either get back to you, I'll create another YouTube video, whatever I need to do. Um, so moving on from the Plex Media Manager. Once you have them updated and um, you, I'm sorry, once you have them uploaded and you set a folder to where your uh, movies are, anytime you add a movie or TV show to one of the folders respectively, it's going to automatically upload them. Um, I think it does it automatically uh, uh, I'm sorry not automatically instantly I know you can set it to do you know check for updates every five hours or instantly or whatever you want to do but all those options are right here on update library and settings and things like that so if you want to do this on your Roku uh, after you have the server set up there's just a simple app in the um, Roku store it's called Plex not very complicated same exact name and it's going to walk you through how to do all of that and that's one thing that everybody who has an Apple TV loves about it over Roku box is that hey I can watch videos because I have iTunes well iTunes is a piece of crap software that makes the best computers run like molasses it's just it, it's just poorly written and not great at all so we're gonna do it this way I don't know if there's a way to do it for Apple TV I'm sure there is you might have to jailbreak it but screw Apple TV so to set it up to view anywhere except your home network so if your Roku box is connected at your house you're really not gonna to have to do anything else it'll automatically find it but say you're at work or on the road and you wanna watch videos that you have on your computer while you're there um, especially on a tablet or a MacBook Air or whatever it may be you need to go to preferences right here and click on my Plex and I'm already signed in um, but you can actually it, it'll take you through the creation process of using your email address it's just a login name and so on and so forth and once you have that done that's all you have to do you don't have to set up port forwarding you don't have to publish it to my Plex uh, those are options for if your computers not working correctly but I've done it on several computers and haven't had a problem so once you have all of this set up let's go to our devices so I'm gonna switch over to my uh, MacBook Air and my tablet and I'll see you all on the flip side alright 
So once you have it all set up on your main computer that you're really not going to unplug too much or at least have turned on when you want to stream, um, you need to go to each of your devices. So I'm going to start with the MacBook Air and I'll work to some different devices that I have on hand. Um, go back to this website and let's see, we're going to go back to download. Alright, so once you have it all set up on your main computer that you're really not going to unplug too much or at least have turned on when you want to stream, um, you need to go to each of your devices. So I'm going to start with the MacBook Air and I'll work to some different devices that I have on hand. Um, go back to this website and let's see, we're going to go back to downloads and for this instance it happens to be a Mac so we'll hit it and then now we want to download the Media Center. Makes sense, it's not setting up a server, it's just the Media Center. So we're going to exit out of this web page and once you download it um, you're going to have an app in your downloads folder, you just need to drag it to wherever you want it. But uh, if you have a Mac, you should already know how to do that. So let's go ahead and get into the actual app itself. Okay, it's as you can see, it's a full screen app, and it is awesome. Uh, it's got the streamlined kind of um, interface. You can't use your mouse for any way that I found. Granted, I haven't looked very hard because I kind of like being able to scroll around by myself. Um, but if you're at home, you're going to see how it automatically shows up with all your different shows and movies and all that kind of stuff. Um, but you're again, you're probably going to be able to do this other places besides home. So you need to go to preferences. And after you go to preferences, you're going to need to go to system. And then my Plex. As you can see, I'm already signed in or whatnot. And um, sign in and all your videos are going to appear magically. Um, something I did find out recently is that you do have channels, actually. Uh, you can go to the channels directory right here. Um, you know, click enter and it'll take you to um, kind of like the little store. I mean, everything's free, but you can get all kinds of videos. You know, I'm a tech junkie and I love movies and stuff like that. So the videos I have are like Revision 3, CNET TV, TED Talks, Netflix, Hulu, so on and so forth. And it's really neat because you don't have to go to each and every different website um, just to see the videos of the day. Um, you can go to the app. So let's go to CNET. They update their videos daily, um, depending on what it is. So we'll go to today. And here are all the videos for the day. And if you go to CNET's website, um, you will see that these are indeed the videos of the day. So, you know, you want to watch it, hit enter. And up it comes. I mean, it's just absolutely perfect. Um, I really can't think of a different way to... Uh, do this. Um, I know XBMC was an option for jailbreak, jailbroken um, uh, uh, ITVs and Xboxes back in the day. Um, I think th it looks a lot like it, but it's just a lot more streamlined and a lot more thoughts going gone into it. So um, I'm going to show you how to do it on an Android device next. So I'll see you all in a second. All right. So next, I'm going to show you how to put it on your Android device slash Apple device. The process is virtually the same. Um, you should be able to figure it out. Um, but anyway, just in case, um, you're going to go to either your marketplace or your app store, depending on what you're on, um, and you're going to search for Plex. There it is. Okay, and what you're going to want is either Plex for Android or Plex for iOS or whatever it may be. As you can see, it's already installed, so I'm not going to do it again. And then you're going to have a little icon down here at the bottom, or wherever you set it to be the default. Um, Alright, so as you can see, it's come up. Um, I will rate it later. Uh, okay, as you can see, all my stuff is there. Um, again, it's not going to start like this. It's going to ask you for your Plex ID, which you set up on the server, and you did again. Um, if you set it up on a secondary laptop and all that nonsense. Um, but again, it works the same way. You just touch what you want. Uh, you got movies here. Click on it, and all movies. And away it goes. Um, this, I've tried it on um, Honeycomb, and I've tried it on um, Gingerbread. I have not tried it on Froyo. I don't know if it works. I certainly don't see why it wouldn't. And I know for a fact it will work on 
uh, ice cream sandwich because um, uh, this isn't it. This is just my plain Transformer, but my buddy has a Transformer Prime, which um, he's got a developer version of Ice Cream Sandwich, and it's running fine on it. So again, I don't see why it wouldn't. So that's how you do it on the tablet, and I got one more thing left to show you. Just had to do it on the Roku box, and I'll wrap it up. All right, so finally we're here on a Roku box. Um, you need to go in to the Roku website and add the channel manually. Um, I'll have another video posted very shortly, uh, depending on whether or not people need to see how to do that um, to get apps that aren't in the channel store on your Roku. There's no jailbreaking involved, no unplugging your Roku, period. You simply got to go to a website. Um, but anyway, so once you have it, you're going to have icon that looks like that. Um, you know, it works just like any other Roku app. Um, again, it's streamlined and works seamlessly. So when you first set it up, all you're going to have is the preferences thing. You're not going to have any of these other options. And again, you just go into preferences and Plex Media Servers, and chances are your Roku's in the same uh, on the same wireless network as your computer. So you won't have to set up uh, the wireless. I'm sorry, the um, the server like to be able to use in other places. You can, but um, there's certainly no need. Um, but once you have it, um, you know, there are your movies, TV shows, channels. Um, so I just clicked on movies and up it comes and here are all my movies. Again, with the metadata still there and it looks awesome. So I know some of this was a lot, was long-winded and I covered kind, kind of a lot of platforms, but I didn't want to leave anybody out because I think Plex is an absolutely great product and I think it should get props where it's due. Um, uh, I kind of just found it one day stumbling around the internet, and it's truly been a great find. Um, again, this is a first, uh, kind of one of my first attempts at an instructional video. I'm sure it's not the best job in the world. Hopefully, it will suffice and you can get by. If not, I do not have a problem doing another video. Please leave comments and feedback letting me know how you thought the video was, and don't forget to like and dislike the video. I'll see you all later, YouTube.